Excessive Soaking and Sodium Tripolyphosphate What is excessive soaking? Sodium tripolyphosphate, or STPP, is a food-grade phosphate used to aid in preserving frozen seafood products. STPP is commonly used in many protein products, not only seafood. Used in trace amounts, STPP preserves moisture inside the flesh of the fish. Every country has its own standards for acceptable levels of phosphates in foods. In recent years, many seafood producers have increased levels of STPP beyond acceptable limits to boost profits at the expense of their customers. Used responsibly, it prevents drying during extended periods in the freezer and results in a fresher product for the end consumer. When abused, fish is oversoaked in STPP, resulting in an unnatural level of water within the flesh. This unscrupulous tactic is more difficult to identify than overglazing because the STPP captures the water inside the flesh. Simply thawing the fish does not release the excess water. The fish needs to be cooked to expose the tactic. The ultimate byproduct of excessive soaking is a dramatic reduction in portion size when the fish is cooked. As we know, uh, the process of soaking product in sodium tripolyphosphate to increase the moisture content is common uh, with uh, unscrupulous processors. And uh, what we'll find uh, when you cook that product is that the, the moisture will come out of the fish when it's being cooked. It'll show as a milky substance in your pan. Uh, it'll dilute your sauces if you're cooking with a sauce. And uh, it'll actually uh, make the fillet so fragile because of the high moisture content that it could even fall apart and uh, be unworkable if the moisture content is too high. And so you're not going to see any of that in its raw form only when it's cooked? Yes, you'll certainly see it uh, in the cooked state. All right, so we'll take this uh, Pollock fillet. And as you can see, uh, there's a lot of moisture that comes out of here right away. In fact, even this belly section, the nape section here is actually falling apart. It's just too It's so thin fragile because not just that it's thin, but the moisture content is absorbed more quickly in the thinner parts of the fish. And you can see how much water and, and moisture is coming out of this, which would ruin a sauce if, if you were cooking a sauce to recipe. Yes. And yes. Uh, if you were using it a battered product uh, for a fish and chips or something like that, the water would actually turn to steam, would erupt and break through that batter and uh, blow the batter off. Hmm. It's so, amazing just how much liquid is showing up there. A great amount, for sure. So these pieces here basically are very much useless uh, if a restaurant was serving this. And Even you can see here, look very, it, it's uh, very starting good. to gape and fall apart here as well. Yep. Again, this would be a result of the additive sodium tripolyphosphate, which is used just simply to increase their recovery by getting more water in the fish. So you're buying water instead of fish.